So it's Sunday night. It's a late night. It's 9.30. Just finished a leg workout. Absolutely shattered. It was a gruelling leg workout. Some workout's going to be like that. It's the facts. I mean, you're not going to go in there every session buzzing and off your face, especially when it's a late night one. You've had a busy weekend. This weekend, I've been at... I've been studying for eight hours every day, starting at nine, finishing at five. It's like a, it was like a job, but I'm investing in my knowledge and my myself, and it wasn't cheap either. But you put the money forward, believing in yourself and investing in yourself. And today, there's just been a, it's been a flipping jam-packed balls to the wall effort, and I've absolutely loved it. Even though it's nine thirty, most people are sat at home now, dreading the Monday morning, waking up and just thinking. Oh man, it's Sunday, weekend's over, just recovered from the hangover, ready to go back to Monday morning at work and ready to complain and moan about that. And then only wishing that it was Friday so they could do it all again, get drunk, party and just try and forget about the week, their weekly lives. The facts are this though. At some point, you're going to have to just quit doing the same old monotonous routine and just just surviving and getting by, literally. I, I've just like I've just realised this this weekend on this course. Like You just can't, you can't be complacent. You can't just think, oh, it'll eventually happen. You've got to make it happen yourself. There's no ifs, there's no buts. It's you. It's all on you. It's you against yourself. It's your own mind, literally. I'm not even joking, literally. I, I, you, you experience this when you're working out, literally. I was in that gym just a minute ago and literally my my whole, my own brain was telling me quit just stop just go just call it a night it's late it's you're tired you haven't eaten much all day you've been on all day you you deserve this rest you deserve to have a break you deserve to just rest i mean everyone else has been resting this weekend you've been really busy these are all my own thoughts these own procrastinations i'm creating myself and what are they going to do nothing they're not even gonna. They're not gonna get me to my goal. They're not gonna get me to where I want to be or what I dream of achieving, physically or even financially. Like it's the same voice again. Like, oh, you shouldn't make video content because people are gonna judge you. Well, fuck it. Who cares? I've got. You've got to start stepping out there and just getting out of your comfort zone and stop caring what other people are gonna think. If they're gonna judge you. They're gonna judge you anyway. Even if you just hide behind the curtains, they're gonna say, oh, well, he's a fucking loser to hide in behind the curtains. It doesn't matter. Like either way, you may as well step forward and and just say what you're about and what you believe in, whilst chasing your dreams and sacrificing yourself for a purposeful reason rather than the purpose of safety. That's the truth. Like, and I've 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 been there. I've been the person who's scared to put himself out, scared to put a voice of, on my beliefs and actually step out there and not believe. And I've, I've I've just I've recently I've just not believed in myself, and I'm I'm sick of it. And it's changing right here, right now. Sat on a car park outside the gym. I didn't want to do this video. My my, my brain was like, just, you've, you've done the leg workout now. It's time to go to bed. It's time to sit down, put a Netflix on, chill out. The facts are, this video needs to be made. Because the fact is, it could influence someone's behavior. This could change someone's attitude. And I hope it does. I hope you realize that I'm out here working and I didn't used to be. I used to just be that guy. I'm still re- literally Friday this week gone by. I was that guy just just sitting by, just cruising, finish work, right? Netflix, right? Food, get it sorted, pan it down me, and just sit on the couch in my bed, just chilling. It's time to stop this bullshit behavior and just actually this flipping average behavior. Unless you want average, I know I don't. I know I've set myself big goals, big targets, big dreams. Because who hasn't? Who wants to be average? Who wants to drive a shit car? Who wants to live in a shit house? Have a shit partner? I know I fucking don't. That's the truth. I'm knackered. You can see it in my eyes. I'm fucking knackered. And I've got to get up at 6.45. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying how it is. And this is the routine I'm getting used to. I'm 20 right now. And I've, I've got to, If I want to turn my dreams into reality and be successful at a young age, it's time to grind. It's time to get on with the hard work and stop listening and being distracted by this just clutter and noise. Now, what are you going to do? hope that helps. And I hope you realise that there's other people out there who want more and aren't satisfied. And I'm one of them. And if you want more and you don't want to be living an average life and you want to actually be proud of yourself and your achievements, come with me and let's go on this journey together and let's just, just get on with it. 
and let's grow with people and turn dreams into reality and prove people wrong. Because at the end of the day, the truth is, what's the point being average when you can be phenomenal? Both hard, both both hard work. One one involves regret, one re- resolves involves discipline. Which pain do you, would you rather feel? I know I'd rather feel discipline because the regret you can never change. At least the discipline you can quit if you really choose to. That's my comment for tonight.